All right, so I got these at Target and I'm excited to try them because I was wanting, if you saw my last vlog, where I failed at making protein pancakes, I was wanting to have something that's packed full of protein that's a good breakfast. So I'm gonna try these out. No, he doesn't have a fever now. Okay, thank you. Okay, they're actually really good. Cal has the other half right now. And they're like really um, light and flaky and delicious. Um, I was just on the phone with the doctor because he's been sick. You can totally hear all that congestion in his throat. Oh, I know, but he doesn't have a fever today. He's had a fever the past few days and they've said to just keep an eye, so. I'm calling today because I just feel like, oh, I just wish there was something I could do for him. Hey, oh, come on. That was uncool. Don't you do that one. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll eat it if you're not going to eat this one. Okay, I'm giving him his little kid ones because I don't think the protein ones probably weren't sweet enough for him. These have like little blueberries in them. Are you not going to eat those either? What's wrong? Okay. Well, he threw all of those on the floor too, so I guess we're just done here. Okay, so I am going to take him to the doctor because um, we're going out of town tomorrow for his birthday party. Oh my gosh, he's going to be one next week. So his birthday party is going to be on Sunday. And so we're gonna go to St. Louis tomorrow. Ah! Yeah. Do you wanna be on camera? So I wanna take him to the doctor just to make sure everything's okay because I don't wanna get to St. Louis and then have to take him to like urgent care. Because the last time we did that, I took him to urgent care in St. Louis and it was like $300 and it was an ear, for an ear infection. <laughs> so just to be on the safe side, we're gonna go to the doctor today yeah but he has that um i can never say the word i don't know how to pronounce it something with an l i always want to say laryngitis but that's not what it is um it's something that he was born with in his throat and it makes him like it's like the little like thing that hangs in their throat his isn't connected all the way or something and it's something he'll grow out of but it makes him have like squeak like a kind of a squeaky breathing or um rattly breathing and so when he gets sick it just intensifies a whole bunch so that's why he sounds like <laughs> like a like a monster practically breathing but um i know like since i know him well enough i know that it's not as bad as it sounds it just sounds like it's really bad so we're gonna do that and then we're also having um what are you doing? Is that time to eat? We're having a babysitter come over tonight. It's the same one that he always ah! Wow. It's the same one that he's always had for the past two months now. And he's going to be coming over to our house because we're going out to dinner tonight for my husband's work. I'm very excited about it. Last year I didn't go because I was way, way pregnant. And I, it was not going to be fun. But this year it'll be fun. So she's coming over, which means I need to clean the house and I need to pack for our trip because we're leaving first thing in the morning. So I've got a really busy day of just cleaning and packing. And also she's coming over at like 3.30. So like, am I supposed to give her dinner? I think you are because what is she supposed to do? She can't leave and get dinner. So I have to provide something. So I'll have to think, maybe I'll have to stop and get something. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, I was just getting the milk out for the babysitter and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this milk. I still have so much breast milk frozen. Like this is, I'm being quiet cause Kyle's napping. This is from February. I still have one in there from January. And then I have March, April, and May and May is when I quit pumping. So I think I'll just, I mean, I'm still gonna breastfeed him after he turns one, but I don't want him to be like relying, like I, I'm not gonna pump anymore and stuff. So. Um, I don't want it to go bad, so I guess I'll just like give it to him, like in a sippy cup. 
during the day. I mean, I don't know. Because I, I definitely, whew, definitely don't want it to go to waste. But at the same time, I really don't want him to have to like rely on having a bottle um, after the age of one. And another thing is, so if I'm breastfeeding him, like probably morning and night, I mean, if he wants a snack during the day, I'm going to give it to him. But if he goes and stays with my parents for, let's say, like three or four days and I'm done pumping and everything, does he just drink regular milk and that suffices? Um, does he have to have like a bottle of something before he goes to actual, actually to sleep that night? Or can he just go to sleep on his own right after dinner? And like breast milk at home is just a special treat? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we're eating lunch right now. Cal has some lunch meat and crackers and cheese. And I have this amazing pizza I made last night that I just totally made up. It's got like chicken, corn, spinach, onion, feta cheese, pesto, like pretty much everything in our fridge. Tomatoes. All right, so I'm heading to Target now because I, it's not a vlog if I don't go to Target. <laughs> no, but actually um, with this babysitter coming, I'm like, oh, I have to feed her because I mean, she's 12. She doesn't, she can't like, and nothing delivers to our house because we live in the middle of nowhere. So we are gonna have to feed her. So I don't have any frozen pizza or like anything like that. So I'm gonna go to Target and get like some frozen pizza, maybe like some chips and dip and like something sweet and just have like some options for her. I hope she doesn't feel like she doesn't, like she can't open anything cause it's new, but um, I'm buying it so that she eats it and opens it because I don't have anything like that right now. So we're gonna head to Target and then also straight from Target we're gonna head to the doctor's office to make sure that he doesn't have like an ear infection or something I will keep you guys updated you're being so crazy let me, let me check what's on cartwheel Frozen pizzas and snacks. Ah, ah, there we are. Alright, so that was super fast and it's 124. We're gonna be perfect timing. I got a little cold brew, which is really yummy. Um, I got the Norino or something. I don't actually know what that is. I thought it was the spiced one, but it doesn't taste spiced, so that must just be the type of coffee it is or something. Void in your life Oops. that I could fill. But I cannot wait, that reminded me, I cannot wait until the spiced cold brew comes back. That was so good, because the pumpkin spice latte is like way too sweet for me, but the spiced cold brew was like perfect. Oh my gosh, and the okay, this is so embarrassing. I was at Target yesterday, and so the Target checkout lady, Cal, was like talking to her, and she's like, hey, I saw you yesterday. And I'm like, yep, we were here yesterday too. <laughs> oh man, she goes, that's okay, I'm here every day too. It's so hard. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Update on the babe. He is perfect. He is healthy. The only thing is just congestion. She said it's all up in his nose. So it's really just, he's just snotty. I just need to like suck his um, boogers out. <laughs> it sounds gross. Suck his boogers out. And that's really all I can do. Um, no ear infections and nothing else. To, no fever. So nothing else to be worried about. But it just gives me peace of mind, especially with us traveling. Like I didn't want to have to take him somewhere and like not know if he had had an infection or whatever. So she also kind of talked a little bit about breastfeeding 
um, cause she asked if I started transitioning to him to milk at all and I said no. Um, I said I'm probably just gonna breastfeed but should I give him milk during the day? So I'm gonna ask her more questions when we go back in just two more weeks for his one year appointment. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to start giving him a sippy cup now. She said go ahead and give him um, sippy cups instead of bottles if he'll do that. So I'll bring some sippy cups with me so if he gets babysat at all while we're out of town, he can just have that instead of a bottle, I guess. We'll see. All right, time to get ready. Alexa, play pop music. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? We work a lot of hours. You know, we work them. You know, we have those soap <laughs> on. We're, you know, okay. we're shaking the bacon. We're loading the truck. You guys, they just want a TV. What do you have to say? <laughs> That's her husband. He just won a TV. That is insane. That's so great. Haley wanted to say hi to the vlog. Thanks, Roblo. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Will. We're literally like about to leave, but... Ah! <laughs> Congratulations! That's amazing! I sent it to I'm Haley. A, I a... Kelsey's back! Hey, Evan. You just don't get what you do on a vlog. You just talk and you say, hey. Again, I had all the vibes. <laughs> 